Hi K2 children, today you are going to work on project number 2, clay soap dish. Are you ready? Let's go! Now remember you have used half of the clay for baby clay dinosaur, so you would have another remaining half, which is this one. And you are going to take it out from the ziplock bag. Also you will need the glue, the clean ice cream stick and some cotton ear buds. Boys and girls, we're going to divide this into A and B. A will be about one third, B will be about two thirds. Okay, A will be the legs, B will take out one quarter. One, two, three, four. We take out about this much to make the head of the animal. So this one we write down. H for head. This one will be L for legs. This one will be body, B for body. Okay? So how do I make the body? Now I'm going to pinch a pinch pot out of this. So that means I will need to roll this into a ball first. In the middle, I'm going to push my thumb inside to make a hole. Now I'm going to stretch this hole all the way around by gently turning and pinching at the same time. I will stop when it becomes about the size of my hand or the size of your daddy's and mommy's hand. Make sure the clay is even on all sides. It cannot be too thin on one side like this. It must be even so that it will not break easily. It's about my hand big. So this one you can keep one block of soap inside. About this big. Throw it on the table a few times gently like this. Any edges that are not smooth, smoothen it out. Gently with your fingers. Now we're going to add in the legs. Divide it into four pieces. One, two, three, four. Roll into a cylinder. Tap it about this size. On the top is thinner, on the bottom is larger. Okay? Same for all of the others. Cut one quarter of the H clay to create a tail. Roll it into a fat noodle with blunt edges. Use your fingers to pinch two ears out on the head. I'm making a cat. What about you? Smoothen out any rough and sharp edges with the clay slip. Then scratch and attach the legs. Scratch the back of the dish too. And add clay slip to all the scratched areas. Now, poke in the bone into each leg. Flip the dish over carefully and join with the legs. Check if any bones are still sticking out. If so, use some clay from the tail to fix it. Now, apply clay slip around edges of all the legs. Scratch and attach all the legs to the dish firmly. Now scratch the animal's head and scratch part of the dish to be joined to the head. Scratch and attach the animal's head to the dish. The head should not be too heavy. Join the two sides of the head to the dish firmly. Join the back of the head to the dish. Now for the tail, scratch the tail and the back of the dish where it will be pasted. Now, scratch and attach the tail together firmly so that it joins together. Using your fingers, gently smoothen out rough edges with water. Now add eyes, nose, mouth. I used a chopstick to do so. 
Try using a cut earbud stick for thin lines. Lastly, smoothen out any rough sides and edges with water gently. Dry it for one day and add colours. Okay, boys and girls, I'm back with my dried animal soap dish. It has been dried under the sun for about a whole day. And just make sure that none of the back of the animal soap dish is soft. It has to be hard before you start painting over it or colouring it. So I'll be using a watercolour cake for this painting. If you don't have any paints at home, you can always use the colour markers to add on details. I have a pot of water and a medium brush. Always have a clean towel, paper towel or old cloth with you when you're doing painting so that you can change the colours and don't dirty them and muddy them up. So think about your colours first. Do you want it to be warm colours or do you want it to be cool colours or you want it to be a rainbow cat or you want it to be a monochromatic cat which means to just use one colour. Let's say you want to use green then you have dark green, light green and maybe some yellow to it. After you have decided then you start painting it. Now I think I'll go for a very cute little ginger cat. So I'll do some yellow and I'll start painting some water, spread the paint out. Now I'm doing blending from light yellow to dark yellow, a bit of orange, some more yellow, Let's blend the colours. So let's turn it over and paint the back. So notice that I always use the lightest colours first then I go to the darker colours. This way you can easily build up the tones of your colours starting from light to dark. If you go too dark at first then you wouldn't be able to get that. For the darker colours, I'm going to go around the shadow areas. Shadow areas will be under the legs. So for now, I'm going to add in some patterns to my cat. I'm using a colour marker. Make sure it is dry before you use colour markers on it. What patterns would you like to give your animal? Is it spots or lines or fur? Add one part of water to three parts of white glue. Mix well. Using your glue brush, Coat over your painted animal soup dish. Remember to dip dip, dab dab. This will protect the colours and give it a glossy shine. Do not paint the feet. Once you're done coating the glue, put your sculpture on a piece of plastic sheet. It could be a plastic bag. Touch up any areas if you need to. Let it dry completely for one whole day. Did you enjoy working on your clay soap dish? Perhaps you can use it and put it in the bathroom. See you soon. Bye-bye.